Big five coaches in the Big 12. Oklahoma State's Mike Gundy is fifth on the list. Bill Snyder at Kansas State is fourth. Bob Stoops is third. Gary Patterson second. And Baylor's Art Briles, the best coach in the Big 12. Ray Crawford here with associate editor Rich Sermonello, who compiled these rankings. And what is it about Briles that puts him at the top of your list, Rich? Yeah, Ray, I, I think you have to look at Art Briles in the context of Baylor football. 12 years prior to his arrival in Waco, 12 straight losing seasons. I mean, this was a bottom of the barrel type Big 12, Big 8 team. They had no history, no success whatsoever. Now they have a national identity, a new stadium. They have top recruiting classes each year, and the expectation is that they're going to compete for championships. So a complete reversal in Waco, and that really is all about our trials. Okay, one guy that did not make your top five, and of course we all know it's not all in the Big 12, but Charlie Strong's record is better than Gundy and Snyder's the last three seasons, and the conference record was better than Gundy's at Oklahoma State last season. So what kept him from the top five? Yeah, no knock on Charlie Strong. I love Charlie Strong. I thought that was the right hire by Texas. And I think he'll have a tremendous amount of success as long as there's patience. But I still want to see coaches that have had success in this league. Every one of the coaches in the top five that I have have had at least one 10-win season in the Big 12. Charlie Strong is just getting started, 6-7 and seven last year at UT. So let's give him a little bit of time. He was great at Louisville, but I still need to see him do it in the Big 12. The other coaches have. Charlie Strong hasn't had that opportunity yet. And the competition in the state has never been tougher for the Longhorns. Uh, Rich, thanks for the insight. Appreciate it. Thanks, Ray. Be sure to check out all, all of our coverage of the Big 12 Media Days right here on CampusInsiders.com.